Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Uh, this here is uh, my church's bandsaw. This is used almost exclusively, well, exclusively to cut their shape and race for the Pinewood Derby cars. Now, Paul brought it over to me, and last time they used it, there's a bit of an issue. If we open this up, we'll check out the tires here. Um, you see these tires, um, they are broken, it's missing chunks. As these tires get old, this is a fairly old band, so this little Delta, they'll get very brittle, um, and they can crack, and they can fall off. Now, this is a small bandsaw. This is a 9-inch diameter wheel bandsaw. Um, so, it's hard to find the standard urethane tires that you can just pop over top. So, we got to get glue-on tires for this machine. Now, glue-on tires can be a little bit difficult, more difficult to install. Still pretty easy. Um, I did make a video on a 14 inch bandsaw, I'm putting the standard rubber ring or urethane tires on the machine, but my sister, who was holding the camera, deleted that video and I'm still mad about it. But this is different, uh, we're gonna do glue on tires this time. So the first thing you gotta do, you gotta measure your wheel and you gotta figure out how much tire material you need. So that's what it looks like when you buy it, it comes in a length and then we'll cut it. Um, so pi r squared is what you need to do. So that's the radius pi times the radius squared. Um, pretty straightforward. Now to get to the first, next thing, you gotta remove the tire material. This stuff here, very, very brittle. Uh, just with this flat screwdriver, yeah, you see it just pops right off. So let me pop the tire material off and then we'll show you the rest here. So here's the tire rubber tire material here. Comes in a roll. First thing that we're gonna do, now I got the tire all cleared off. Now you're gonna, sometimes you gotta take a little bit of sandpaper in there Make sure you remove any excess glue. This stuff came off really nicely, so I don't need to do that. I did scrape a little extra in some spots. But I'm gonna cheat here. So the glue that we're gonna use to do this is uh, just standard CA glue. This is Starbond CA glue that we sell. What I like to do is put a little dollop of glue on the end, okay? Just like that. Make sure you have, for when I'm doing it this way with accelerator, make sure you have some right on the tip, just like that. You're going to put this tire material in the saw, and in this particular saw, it's going to fit right between the two ridges. Okay, so we got that in there. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. I'm going to hold this down with my finger, and with my other hand here, we're going to spray this while it's held down with the accelerator. Now that's going to make that dry instantly. If you do not have accelerator, you can just hold that and you're going to have to wait for it to dry with a little spring clamp like this. Okay, now next thing we'll do, we're going to wrap this all the way around the wheel. Put it in between those two little lips. Just like so. And that's going to be our length. So what I like to do then, pull it nice and tight. And if I get in the light there, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it a little bit extra long. And then on the nice flat surface, I'm going to cut it off nice and straight. Okay, just with an exacto knife, I got a piece of wood under it here. I'm just going to slice it right where my mark was. Okay, now we're going to wrap this back on there. And see how much I need to trim off. Okay, so if I trim off maybe a sixteenth of an inch, and you'll remember, um, you'll pull this tight, and that's going to stretch in there a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let me cut off an eighth of an inch, and that should be good. Now that I got that pulled tight, so I'll remove about an eighth. Okay, one more time here. So if I pull that nice and tight, that'll sync up really nicely there. So now all we have to do is put some glue on this wheel. So if we unwrap this right to where I have that glue started, right about like that, right in the center between these two rails, I'm going to put a bead of glue. If you have a wheel that is crowned, this is slightly crowned, try to get the glue right in the center 
of the crown there. I just stripped a little glue on myself, but that's okay. Um, okay. So, we'll put our glue on here. And while I'm putting the glue on there, I'll guide that belt up. We're going and at the very end we're going to pull this tire nice and tight here whoops okay so we'll pull the tire tight so we're right in line there we've got that tire all the way around and the very last thing I'll do either if I have accelerator I can just some, spray some accelerator on there. If I don't, again, I will use a spring clamp to hold that down while that dries. So there's our tire. You can probably see the seam there. Um, maybe you can't. Where is it? Right in the light. I think it's right to... Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Um, but yeah, we got it nice and close. But now you got a brand new tire on there. So now we just got to do the bottom. Bottom's done the exact same way. Um, but yeah, so if you do need to glue on some tires, if you have a bigger bandsaw with glue on tires, the process is exactly the same. If you have a bandsaw that has glue on tires but doesn't have the lips on either side of the wheel, the process is the same. But before that dries um, and you have the glue on there, you just got to make sure you center that tire on that wheel. Um, and you can slide it around even with the glue on there. So. Yeah, um, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or comment on the video. And if you want to see future videos, please subscribe. Thank you much.